Hey friends, so I'm working on my 1990 F-350 rescue project that I'm rebuilding. One of the things that's wrong with it is somebody put this badge on the front of it. I'm sure that's part of the reason it doesn't run. Now, in seriousness, that's just not important right now. I'm not getting any fuel, so I can crank the engine, but I don't get any fuel. Fuel solenoid engages. Um, the wiring is a disaster. Um, five-year-old would have been a, done a better job messing up the wiring. So today's project is we're going to investigate the fuel pump to see if that even works, see if we've got fuel. We're going to steal some old diesel out of this bus. Paid for 100 gallons of diesel. It doesn't exactly go bad. It just loses cetane over time. It'll burn. It burns in that thing. It'll burn in this one. So uh, one of the things we can do is hook into the fuel pump down here and see if we've got suction. So that's what we're going to work on. videos a little shorter a little more to the point this will be fun uh, the seller said oh yeah it ran great when we parked it when in 2005 <sighs> so much shit works so little time so I don't know what this is I think this is a one-way valve I don't know so we're gonna disconnect the fuel hose there so Looks like it's a quarter inch drive, so let me find one of those. All right. I'll try not to get diesel in my face. And get a pair of pliers because this will make this easier. What a shitty setup. Alright. So a lot of times ho hoses like this have been on here a long time. And so you can break them loose with Greasy either.
up there that this comes from. What the hell this thing is? Uh, so check valve or filter. I will not be surprised if it's part of the problem. <clears throat> I guess it's diesel, but it, man, it just doesn't feel right. Normally diesel is real greasy. That doesn't want to come off their skin. This rinses right off. Feeds up a little bit, so maybe it's oil. This is really shitty diesel. So that's your check valve. All right, we'll set it to the side. So I'm just gonna cut through the bullshit and I'm gonna put my finger here and I'm gonna spin the engine over. Make sure nothing moves down there. I feel it. Absolutely no suction, so I've got a deadlift pump. So there is no point in hooking any another source of fuel up to this at this point because it doesn't pump. So well, let's go ahead and pull this. Well, I'll say pulling this piece of crap out for when I have the replacement pump. So that's it for today. We have a dead fuel pump because we can put our finger on this and we get no lift. And um, now. Was it installed incorrectly or is it just bad? Let's just go with it's bad for the moment. And um, we're gonna say a lot of bad words when we replace it because it's really difficult to get to. So that's it for diagnosing a uh, fuel pump. And that's all I can do for today. So thanks for watching this episode. I hope this is helpful for people that have the similar problem with their IDI diesel.